It's the go-to for the how-to. You know that you want to. Yeah, beautiful. Hi there, printers. Happy Friday and welcome to my Friday video, The Week in Beauty. Now, in case you missed it, last week was actually the first week of the video, but basically it's covering off on everything that's been happening here at Print HQ, as well as any exciting launches we've been to, new products and celebrity beauty looks that we're loving. And first of all, check out our new little print pad with beautiful inspiration board here. Um, so this is where I'll be filling my videos from now on. But basically, to start off, I'm going to be talking about the highlight of the week, which was for me the new OPI Man with the Golden Gun top coat. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit more special than your everyday polish. Um, it's got a shiny new bottle and a beautiful little box, so it would make a beautiful Christmas present. But it's basically infused with 18 karat gold leaf, so when you apply it, it leaves these really beautiful kind of subtle golden flecks on your nails. Um, so it works really nicely on a neutral now for something a little bit more subtle or against black or red it's really kind of eye-catching and stand out. So I'm loving this one. It's available now for a limited time. It's $40 and you can pick it up from David Jones and select salons. So make sure you check that one out. Now as for the launch of the week, um, for me that was Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Launch. And it was all about going back to nature and really discovering the ingredients in our skincare and what we're actually putting on our skin, which is obviously really important. Um, but we also learned a little bit more about the background of Burt's Bees and the important role that bees and honeybees play in our ecosystem because I didn't actually know this, but they pollinate the majority of our fruit and vegetables. So without them, the results could be disastrous. Um, but in regards to the range itself, it's not out until February 2013, so we'll cover it off a little bit more detail then. Um, but obviously one of the main skin concerns for all of us is dry skin, particularly in Australia, and it's infused with a lot of botanical ingredients, with the hero ingredient being clary sage, which is actually found in the Mediterranean, and it's renowned for its ability to retain moisture, so it's obviously perfect for a hydrating range. So. I will let you know how this one goes and we'll speak about it more in detail then. But there's five products, you know, a cream cleanser, a day cream, a night cream. So it's beautiful and we'll chat more about that soon. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, next up is the Celebrity Beauty Look of the Week. And for me, that was model Robin Lawley. Now, she's Australian, she's 23 and she lives over in New York and she's absolutely beautiful. Um, she's been on the cover of French L and she's starring in a new... Ralph Lauren campaign that's out at the moment, um, but we saw her at the American Ballet Theatre opening gala the other night and she had this amazing kind of cloche fascinator and these big beautiful chocolatey caramel curls and beautiful skin and she just looked incredible. And while I was checking out pictures of her, um, kind of what she's been up to lately, I saw this really beautiful shot from a few weeks back where she had her hair out and it's kind of tiny little plaits. So she's inspired me to do something a little bit different with my hair today because normally I just throw it up in a top knot by 12 o'clock because I love having it off my face. But, you know, it's just like a cute way to keep it away from, yeah, keep it away from hanging in your face all day and it's like a little bit of an update on your regular style. So thank you for that one, Robin, and we'll be keeping an eye on what she is up to um, throughout the rest of the year. Now, as for the product of the week, um, this week it is Clarins Eau de Nimazant, which is actually turning 25 this year, if you can believe it. Um, it's one of Kat's all-time favourite fragrances, and it's also the world's first treatment fragrance, which basically means it obviously smells amazing, but it also does some beautiful things for your skin as well. Now, for its 25th birthday, it's coming... Well, it's come out in an, a limited edition bottle, so it's kind of reminds us of Dorothy's Slippers in The Wizard of Oz, and it's beautiful and glittery and red. Um, but it smells beautiful and citrusy and fresh, and while, well, when you spray it, it also has the ability to keep your skin really like um, supple and moisturised as well as firming, um, firming up your skin as well. So it has a bit of a two-in-one, which we always like, and it's available now. It's $65 from department stores, so make sure you go and have a check out this one and have a little bit of a smell because it would also make a lovely Christmas present. And now, lastly, the tip of the week um, comes to us from Allure magazine. In case you haven't read it before, Kat talked about it a little bit this week, but it's a US magazine and it's one of my favourites. I absolutely love it. It's everything dedicated to beauty, um, you know, new tips and trends and that kind of thing, and it's just a really, really amazing magazine. But 
one of the tips inside was about removing glitter nail polish. And as you know, I love all things nail art and nail polishes. So, you know, I've heard lots of myths about, you know, removing it with aluminium foil and dipping your hands in nail polish and all sorts of kind of things. And I've always kind of freaked out a little bit, but my nails are naturally quite oily, so I can normally peel polish off straight away. But I wanted to give this tip a try. They suggested getting your nail polish remover and then dipping a cotton bud, kind of drenching it, so heavily soaking it in nail polish remover. And then you hold it against your nail for 15 seconds and then you can just swipe the glitter straight off, which sounds a lot easier than getting into the aluminium foil. So I'm going to give it a try out. So you kind of really need to get a lot of nail polish remover on your cotton bud. And then pop it onto your nail. So as you can see, I've got glitter nail polish on right now, which is from the new OPI Skyfall collection, which I spoke about earlier. It's called Living Daylights, and it's really kind of big, chunky specks of glitter. So what you do is just hold it onto your nail and just press it in for 15 seconds. And then, yeah, basically you can just swipe it straight off, and you might have a little tiny flick or two, but it'll just flick off. You won't even have to worry about peeling or ruining your nails. Um, so I find this a lot easier than, as I said, getting out the aluminium foil. So once you've done that, give it a little bit of a wiggle and it peels right off. Now I've still got a little bit of the regular nail polish that I have on there, but I know that'll come off naturally anyway. So I can just get that off. But as you can see, there's actually no glitter left on it. So that is a big time save one as well for getting off glitter nail polish. So thank you for that one, Alua. Anyway, that's it for my Friday video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you back at print next week. Bye.